Some Iraqi army forces are fighting ISIS. This was Monday. And President Obama is not changing his Iraq plan, says the White House. He's taking additional steps. A handshake in Baghdad sealed the deal. Up to 15% more U.S. troops, 450, will go to Iraq, to a base near Ramadi, to train Iraqis to retake that city that ISIS captured last month. To essentially expand the capacity of our train, advise, and assist mission. Many Republicans want more. It's a step in the right direction. But as the president admitted the other day, he has no strategy to win. The mostly Shiite Iraqi army ran from Ramadi. Shiite generals left in choppers, leaving Iraqi Sunni civilians to face ISIS and leaving U.S. lawmakers discouraged. So are we trying to put a government together with people that basically have been fighting for 1,400 years and don't want to be together? Could a few more U.S. forces unite Iraqis against ISIS? We probably make a difference in the short run, but again, this is a bitter civil war. But President Obama said Iraq Shiite Prime Minister Haidar al-Abadi will reach out to Sunnis. Prime Minister al-Abadi is very much committed. Uh, to uh, effective, inclusive governance. Still, ISIS is dividing Iraq and so far has conquered one-third of the nation. U.S. and Iraqi officials claimed months ago they were ready to kick ISIS out of Mosul, but they didn't, and then came Ramadi. Now, nobody's daring a guess as to when the Iraqi army might really be ready. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.